And introducing first, he is one challenger. He's the real deal, Magnus Knox. Strange personalities there are around here. There might not be one stranger, Magnus Knox, but he is indeed the real deal. And their opponent. He is the good neighbor, John Ross. The Holiday sauce. Holiday sauce. Yeah. The, the world Holiday greeter. Sauce. John Ross, maybe the most unorthodox competitor in professional wrestling. And their opponent. He is the longest reigning and defending Imagine Live heavyweight champion. He's a low life. James Ross. This guy shows no one respect. He's from the gutter and he loves it. He's a gutter child, if you will. Triple threat for the Imagine Life title. Your referee is bald. He's got a little bit back there. Yeah, it looks like a gray squirrel. He's got to let it go, man. It's that beautiful Imagine Life championship that James Ross has been holding for quite some time. Longest reigning. I mean... Can't sleep on this kid, man. He decided to better himself, leave his father, fly away home from the roost, find some friends, and he's been very successful, even prior to joining the watch. Um, he's been on one hell of a streak, and it's been uh, it's been a pleasure to watch, quite yeah. honestly. He's still a low life, but you got to give him credit where credit's due. We say it week in and week out. Whether you agree or disagree, his title reign is what it is, and it has been that long. Harkens back to the memories of guys like Rob Van Dam, the Honky Tonk Man, taking the Intercontinental or television title and making it mean something and making it watchable weekly television yep. that you could not miss. Just recently, Gunther being the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion of all time. Absolutely. James Ross is all of that. You know, they, they tend to revere those titles as the Workhorse Championship, and that's what the Workhorse Championship is for our, our dojo here. Oh, my God! We got a cutter out of nowhere on Magnus Knox! James Ross is stunned! John what? Ross making a statement right out of the gate, showing he him him the Oh, there he goes, up and over. Back in the ring. Are we looking at a sharper John Ross heading into this wow. title match? Jimmy, he's been so calm, cool, and collected the last couple of weeks. I mean, he has the biggest matchup in his career coming up in just three short days, and he's in there just putting in wood, putting in work. He could end up with two championships by by Sunday morning. You hear that impact on that shot, like Zeke. John Ross looking to make an impact here. Oh, there it is. Look at that wrist control. Beautiful standing fireman's carry. Sending his kid ass over elbow pads onto the mat. Mike Zeke. Yeah, James Ross tried. He tried to get away, but John grabbed him just the last second and brought him right back in. Controlling this contest. We haven't seen Magnus not Magnus not since he took that. He's he's not moving on the outside. I don't know if the referee at any point wants to maybe check on Magnus, but there's a lot of action going on in the ring here, so. That cutter was as deep as they come, man. He got all of it, that's for certain. Yeah, out of nowhere. Wow, what a low shot. Big knee lift from John Ross. Looking for the cover. Can he put him away here? Shades of Mr. Wrestling, too, with that knee lift. Beautifully yeah. done. Got wrench. Got wrenching it was Mike Zeke. Right to the solar plexus. Gotta knock the wind out of you, Jimmy. Absolutely. You know, uh, as we speak about scrambled eggs and whatnot, he uh a little bit of eggs right in the bread basket there, Mike Zeke. Yeah. We oh, oh. Got we caught up talking. in that ring yeah. skirt. Oh! Just choking his dad! He had a handful of sweater there, I think. Yeah, he did. Talking an awful lot about eggs oh, here, here this evening. Missile drop kick from the low life James Ross. Love him or hate him, this kid does it all. Beautifully planted missile drop kick. See, I just said that he needed to take a look at Magnus Knox. He looked away for a second, and James Ross was going in for the pin. He's got to have eyes in the back of his head here. Uh, he didn't hold this belt so long by uh, happenstance. This kid's very savvy, just like his father there. It'll be interesting to see here. This is actually Magnus Knox's first three-way match. So the inexperience coming into play right out of the opening bell. Yeah, first three-way match. We'll see if he can get back into this matchup here. I remember when I was a new wrestler, Mike Zeke, and there was a lot of three-way matches, and I was the uh, the most inexperienced ah. in, the in there. Not an easy spot to be in. No. You know, and then you got John Ross picking you off with uh, one of his oh. favorite maneuvers right out of the opening gun. Yeah. Oh, here we go, Jimmy. Hair pulling Wednesdays here on Imagine Live, courtesy of that low life. 
James Ross. There's no one more hair pulling on a Wednesday than the low life James Ross. Come on, get up, get up. Now just choking his father. It's the same as John Ross is what he claims to be, the low life not claiming to be anything other than just that, a low life choking the life out of his father. Yeah, he's not quiet about it, man. He's very upfront about how, how much of a low life piece of work he is, I'll say. Piece John of work. Ross gasping for air in there. You can hear him. Well, not to mention it's a you know hundred degrees in this building. So, and he's wrestling in a sweater. So, yeah, he's a trooper, man. I said this. This John Ross, he's a fighter, oh, one of the toughest men I've ever been between those ropes with. Oh, sliding, sliding lariat into the bottom corner there. Yeah, yeah. Coming right out on the floor here in front of us, claiming it to be his show. Magnus Knox still a little worse for wear on the outside here. Another drop kick. Always, always interesting offense out of these Rosses. Uh, so interesting to see if they can even predict each other. Their their offense is so unorthodox. Yeah, I mean we've we've talked about it multiple times. Hey, nobody home for James Ross. You know, John Ross taught him everything he knows, but he didn't teach him everything that you know John knows. And oh, hey, there's Magnus. Magnus Knox coming back into play. Oh my God. Right in the jaw. Did you what see a my shot! Oh, but he rolled out of the ring. Smart on his part, but wow! Uh, oh my! What a what a bad night for Magnus Knox. Wow! Oh wait, can John put him away? One, two, two. Textbook schoolboy there. Not so fast, my friend. Big high knee from the low life James Ross. Followed up with a knee shot right to the forehead. Beautiful ring placement there. Man, near, near fall. Magnus Knox took that boot right to the face. Yeah. Referee John Williams checking on Magnus yeah, Knox. Yeah, try it. And, 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 yeah, look. And James Ross, being smart, taking advantage of it. He's had his foot on his windpipe a lot longer than five seconds. Very, very opportunistic, this kid. Yeah. And he does it with a sneer on his face, a chip on his shoulder. No one can tell this kid that he's ever going to be anything other Looking than to go a high low risk. life. We're going to go high risk here. We've seen him go here a few times. Big frog splash from the low life. One, two, ah, two. Just a two count for that low life James Ross, who looks a little dejected. Maybe not totally, ah. but ah, no, I'm, I'm right. He's dejected. I heard him scream. We're going to see the difference between him and his old man right here. Yeah. Where, oh, uh, there's the hair again. James Ross tends to lose his cool. Can't lose your cool against somebody like John Ross. Ah. Body drop. What I just say? You can't lose your cool. You can't lose focus. John Ross looking to take advantage here. He hesitated for one second, Mike Zeke, and that opened up that renewal by Anderson window of opportunity. Yes, it did. Call renewal by Anderson at eight one four three three zero nine eight seven zero. Ask for Jordan Treese. You need those high quality windows and or patio home options. You call DC Bentley. Just like John Ross needed this window of opportunity right here. Both men to their feet. Oh, big shot from John. There's Polish shots. Polish power. Shades of Ivan Putski. Oh, John Ross going to show it. Uh, his aerial prowess here yeah. going all the way yeah. up to the top. Not floor. often does he go to the top here. Big neighbor chop from the top rope. That's how he trims the hedges right there, Mike Z. Yeah. North South. Okay. Yeah, I enjoy the high life myself. I yeah. can relate. Same. There's oh, a cutter. Clean. clean in the middle. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, Our Chris, heavyweight champion's out here. What's Chris, he doing? Chris Coleman's out of ringside. Come on, man. Hey, 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 wait. Come on, man. Come on, Chris. Oh. oh. Wait, what's going on? Wait a minute. Oh, Magnus, Magnus just landed. Oh. One, two, three. Magnus Knox is a champion. <laughs> what just happened, Jimmy? John Ross lost in the fog of war. Magnus Knox slides in, and we have a new... What just happened? Imagine Live champion, and that is the real deal, Magnus Knox. DC, was that a three? What? I, I mean, I'm t I, I don't... I don't agree with what I just saw there. Magnus Knox is our new appearance. Imagine Live heavyweight champion. He pinned... James, Look what's that. going... DC! You thought that rain was long. You've seen nothing, man. You see nothing, man. Unbelievable. They're scrambled, baby. 
James. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion, Magnus Knox. Imagine live champion. Very interesting <laughs> celebration for Magnus Knox. Unexpected. Uh, yeah, I'd be upset too. Wow. 